Hey everyone, and thanks for joining us today for our XL220 new feature tour. I'm Matt, and I'm thrilled to share the details about this feature-rich software release. Come have a look. We have a whopping 23 new features, so we've grouped them into feature sets. And at the end of this video, we will open up the Vorn Vault for a sneak peek at some upcoming features. Let's kick off our 220 tour with three features related to down reasons. We've added a new color to our palette with the introduction of pink to indicate a missing down reason. You can see it in the chronogram, in the event list, and in tables. Pink indicates down events where no reason has been provided. Your plant floor team will also see pink right in the timeline of your Excel HD scoreboard anywhere a down reason is missing. With 220, you can also disable the missing reason prompt for your scoreboard, which we recommend if your operators are not responsible for assigning reasons. And you can change the default down reason if you prefer something other than missing reason. Next, let's talk about three new features related to data quality. You can now modify production states and add or modify reasons and comments directly from the chronogram, event list, and table widgets. To open the Modify Event dialog, click on the event in the chronogram, the vertical ellipsis in the table, or the pencil in the event list. Another way we're helping you improve data completeness is through the new built-in dashboard called Audit Down. There are two key things we're making it super easy to do through this dashboard. First, you can quickly identify and update down events that are missing reasons. Second, you can do the same for down events that really should have a comment, but don't. We recommend setting a policy that all down events longer than, say, 30 minutes should have an associated comment that captures context and insights. If you turn your attention upward, you'll notice that Excel now brings urgent data quality issues right to the forefront. You'll see an urgent data quality notification if Excel detects that your part run is configured with an incorrect ideal cycle time, Excel will also notify your plant floor team of the urgent data quality issue via the Excel scoreboard. Let's shift our focus to the next two features, which are both related to comments. In 220, comments have a refreshed design, including updates to discussions, which are now called threads. You can also use the filter live control in tables and event lists to differentiate between events with and without comments. This is exactly what we do with the audit down dashboard. Next, let's talk about two new features related to data dimensions. Production day is now a full-fledged reporting dimension. Before, you could create reports that aggregated data based on day of week. Now, you can also create reports that aggregate data on single day boundaries. Production day is similar to a calendar day, except its boundaries align with your shift schedule, which is very helpful for reporting. Enterprise dimensions, such as Work Center, previously had to come first in reports. Now they can go just about anywhere in the dimension hierarchy. For example, you can create a table of OEE by day by work center or efficiency by shift by site. Now let's take a look at a feature that delivers faster page loads in Excel. With some behind the scenes magic, such as virtual pings, progressive page updates, caching state and more, report pages load faster, especially in environments where an Excel device might be powered off or otherwise inaccessible on your network. There are also two new features related to the app bar and navigation. The reports menu now places dashboards front and center and all in one place. After all, they are the key to viewing your data your way. Right next door, the app bar now displays the name of the Excel device to which you are connected. This is especially useful when making data modifications that require you to be directly connected to the device for which you are changing data. 220 includes three features that are all designed to improve the timeliness of email reports. We made a bunch of changes behind the scenes to ensure that end of shift reports get sent from Excel Enterprise as quickly as possible, as soon as all the scheduled shifts are complete. Another improvement is that Excel will only capture unscheduled production as an unknown shift or part run when it detects that the process is definitely running. Additionally, if Excel does detect an unscheduled shift, it won't group it with scheduled shifts in email reports and chronograms. Let's get technical with two brand new features related to digital inputs. First, 
we've expanded what you can do with digital inputs and made them easier than ever to configure. We've organized your options into three groups, counts and cycles, manual run detection, and production state. And we've added four new options, cycle only, run, down, and no production. Second, we added an option to automatically adjust input inhibit times based on the ideal cycle time. This is handy for applications where you have a wide variance in cycle times. And if you have long cycle times, you can now enter inhibit times as long as one hour. Next up is a frequently requested feature related to time schedule events. Excel now can be configured to automatically end a scheduled event early if it detects that the process is running or definitely running. The next feature, which is related to software updates, is a big one. You can now centrally manage software updates in Excel Enterprise for any number of Excel devices as long as they're running version 219 or later. You can configure a software update to begin right away or to occur later, at a time of your choosing. And in either case, you can also specify that the update not start for a given Excel device until production is not scheduled. We have three more 220 features to showcase for you. First, we've added an optional new factor into the OEE performance calculation, which is based on the expected number of counts per cycle. For example, an injection molding tool might be expected to produce 12 parts with each cycle. However, due to a damaged tool, nine cavities are utilized and three are not. In this example, the OEE performance count factor would be calculated as 75%. Second, we've improved gesture recognition and screen response time for the XL HD. Third, we've added API access to the XL HD and XL 810 scoreboards so that you can integrate information from other sources into your plant floor scoreboard view. We think you're going to love these new features, and even more so knowing that the 220 software update is free. But we're not finished yet. It's time to open the Vorn Vault for a peek into the future. The upcoming Excel Enterprise Management Console makes it easy to centrally manage all of your Excel devices. The Control Center is where you manage configuration across enterprise, site, area, equipment type, equipment model, and work center levels. Policies enable you to specify where different types of configurations are managed. For example, you may want reasons to be standardized within a site but still allow exceptions for individual work centers. And collections are where you actually view and edit configurations, such as individual reasons or parts. In this example, the user is modifying their reason for stamping press one. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming new feature tours and other helpful videos. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at Vorn.com. We're here to help.